Word of the day. For he has rescued us from the dominion of darkness and brought us into the kingdom of the son he loves in whom we have redemption, the forgiveness of sins. Colossians chapter 1 verse 13 through 14. Hello Flavor family, welcome and or welcome back to my channel. Today I will be showing you how to make this really simple but so tasty baked fish. So without any further ado, let's get started. First things first, let's go ahead and prep our fish. I am using fresh tilapia but you can use any fish of your choice. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna grab a knife and we are gonna clean off all these extra fins or swimmers, whatever you wanna call them. Now that is my personal preference. I prefer a clean fish, but you can leave them on if you choose to. But personally, I think it's just more appetizing to have a clean fish inside and out. I would recommend that once you're buying your fish at the supermarket, have them clean it for you because taking this off was not easy guys. Like I nicked myself so many times because these fins are so sharp and pointy. So I definitely recommend having the professionals do it for you behind the counter. But if you are going to be a gangster like me and do it at home, please do be careful. Once the fish has been defined and gutted, we are going to take it to the sink and we are going to wash the fish's belly. As you can see, there's like this black thing in there. I don't know what it's called, but you want to grab like a soft sponge or a soft scrubber and you want to get as much of that out of there as you can. It does come off pretty easily so you don't have to scrub too hard or too long, but you do want to wash that out because if you bake it that way with the black stuff in there, it's going to give your fish a very bitter taste. Afterwards, you're going to grab a knife and we are going to start descaling the fish as you can see like there's a lot of little scales on here so you want to go ahead and just gently take those off with a knife just by simply just rubbing up against them and they come off fairly easily and finally just go ahead and rinse your fish inside and out one last time for good measure just to make sure everything is clean before after here is our clean fish isn't this so satisfying well at least it is to me it is a lot of work but trust me it is so worth it moving on we are going to go ahead now and cut slits into our fish you can do them horizontally you can do them diagonally it doesn't really matter but i'm going to go ahead and just using a sharp knife cut in some slits into the fish i'm not going too deep just until i hit the bone and then just flip it over and do the same thing on the other side and the reason why i'm doing this is because when we go to season our fish we want to make sure that the seasonings it's getting inside the fish as well for maximum flavor to pre-season the fish i am going to use one tablespoon of chicken bouillon powder then a half teaspoon of adobo all-purpose seasoning and one teaspoon of fish spice and then we are going to mix those together and then just sprinkling a little bit at a time you want to go ahead and start rubbing it into your fish making sure to get the seasonings into the slits that we pre-cut before lifting up every crack every crevice like inside and out all around the fish don't be scared okay don't be scared to get up close and personal and then flip it over and do the same thing to the other side inside and out i did end up not using all of my seasonings but no worries don't throw this away save it we will use it in the sauce later on 
all right so once my fish was seasoned i went ahead and grabbed some aluminum foil this is what i'm going to marinate my fish in overnight why did i choose aluminum foil i have no idea but you don't have to do it this way you can as well just put it in a bowl and wrap it up and stick it in the refrigerator for it to marinate overnight so that those seasonings have more than enough time to get to know our fish you know what i mean so i'm gonna go ahead and wrap this up and we are going to stick it in the refrigerator overnight and we will check on this little guy in the morning tomorrow the next day let's actually start putting this together starting with our sauce here is what i'm using i have one whole medium sized red onion as well as some garlic ginger one habanero pepper which is optional if you don't want the spice and then i am also going to use some fresh parsley which you can also substitute with galleons i went ahead and threw this in the blender and it gave me a very pretty taste such as this so we are going to grab this and take it over to our burner now and to a non-stick skillet we are going to add in some vegetable oil and once that's hot and ready to go we are going to drop in in our blended paste here and then we are going to cook this down for about five to ten minutes or until the water dries itself out also make sure to periodically stir it just to make sure that nothing is burning all right so about six to eight minutes in for me my water had dried out as you can see so i'm just gonna go ahead and give this a stir before we add in some seasonings Starting off, I'm going to add in the remainder of that fish spice that we had from earlier, followed by some ground crayfish powder. Then I am adding in some dried thyme, followed by some dry rosemary, and then just a little bit of salt and white pepper. And lastly, I will add in some ground black pepper and then we are going to give this a very good stir to combine. Afterwards, I did let this cook for an additional three to five minutes just to give time for the seasonings that we just added to come together. And then I'm adding in just a little more oil because I did feel like it dried out a little too fast on me. Then I went ahead and tasted it and I felt like it needed just a little more seasoning. So I'm adding in just a little bit extra of that chicken bouillon powder. And then we're going to stir to combine and we're going to cook this for an additional one to two minutes. And once the sauce was done, this is what it's looking like. As you can see, it has dried out quite a bit. And the only thing that's left is just that oil that is peeking through. So we are going to go ahead and remove this from the stove and allow that to cool off for about 10 minutes. While that is cooling off, go ahead and preheat your oven to 350 degrees. And then grab yourself a baking tray or something that you are going to bake your fish I'm using this tray that I have lined with some foil and also greased with a little bit of vegetable oil to prevent sticking. And once our sauce or paste, I don't know what to call this, I'll just call it a paste. Once that has cooled off, we are going to bring that back. And also we are going to bring back our pre-seasoned slash pre-marinated fish from yesterday. A few minutes before I started cooking my paste, I did set my fish out on the counter just so that it can be able to come to room temperature so that it would be ready to receive all this deliciousness we are about to slap on it. So now I'm going to go ahead and grab my paste and then I'm going to start rubbing this all over the fish inside and out once more, making sure I'm getting in those slits that we cut in there, making sure it's getting into the head, into the belly, pretty much just rub this all over the fish inside and out on both sides.
I ended up not using all of my paste. I used about half of it, but do not throw the rest away. We are still going to use this to kind of baste the fish as it is baking. So now I am going to place this into my oven for 30 to 45 minutes or until the fish is fork tender. Halfway or so through cooking, we are going to come in and rub on some of that remaining paste that we have on the fish just to add just a little more flavor on there and also to use up the remainder of that paste i'm gonna rub it on one side and then we are going to put the fish back in the oven for about five minutes so that that seasoning can cook on there and then we're going to take the fish back out and then very carefully try to flip the fish over this is the most difficult part guys but i am using two spatulas here to kind of get under there and you have to be very careful because fish is very delicate like it can flake on you and fall apart in the blink of an eye so definitely do take your time with this it's okay if you lose some skin but once you have successfully flipped your fish over what you want to do is just go ahead and rub on some more of that paste on the other side and then you're gonna go ahead and pop this back into the oven to finish cooking all right guys so 45 minutes later here we are this is what my fish looks like and it is incredible i went ahead to serve this with some fried plantains and a nice spicy pepper sauce if you guys want a video on how i make my pepper sauce do definitely drop me a comment down below and let me know but guys that is the end of the video thank you so much for watching i love you guys and i'll catch you on the next one